Hola amigos! I am here to do a different video than all the hauls that I've been doing. Some quick notes here. Yes, this is my natural hair. No, this is not with braids or anything. This is just straight out of the shower. Put it in a bun overnight and then just let it go. I'm currently getting ready to leave to Costa Rica in about a couple of hours. So I'm going to be there for about a week. I have a bunch of videos that I have filmed that I'm going to go ahead and put into the queue after I go ahead and edit it since I do have a layover in LA. And then also I'm going to have to wait like seven hours for the rest of the girls to get there before we can take our shuttle to our villa so yeah so but i will be uh vlogging that so uh yeah <laughs> ultimately this is my makeup look for the airport since i'm going to be on two flights today one is about an hour and a half and another one is about six hours with all the layovers in between and everything so it's going to be a good amount of time and a good amount of traveling so pretty much all i do when i know i'm going to travel is load up on the chapstick Go ahead and curl my eyelashes, put some mascara, and then do my brows. As far as any face makeup, I don't even try because it's just going to melt off or it's just going to become cakey and like blotchy as the hours go by. So I just try and avoid that as much as possible. The video that you guys clicked on is this. So pretty much everything I use can fit in this mason jar almost. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just going to go ahead and go through and this is pretty much what I use on the daily or not even on the daily because I don't wear makeup on a daily basis at this time but ultimately this is what I would use if I would go and just everyday look. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Great. So I'm just going to work my way from the top to the bottom not in any order whatsoever. So the first thing that I have is actually this bronzer that I've been loving lately. The reason it's in this thing is because that's how I got it. This is the Givenchy. It is a bronzer by Givenchy. Um, I've used it quite a bit. Let me see if I can take it out of here and show you what it is. That is what bronzer is. But I've been loving it just because from my NYC Sunny bronzer that I absolutely love, I didn't have that on hand when I was traveling. So I just had this. And if I were to lose it, it wouldn't be much of a big deal just because of the packaging and it's whatever. But it works well as a bronzer to give me some sort of dimensions in my face when I'm done with my face makeup. Next thing I have I actually got from Bartels. I did a haul on this when I first got back a little bit ago and this is the LA Colors 3D Blush Contour. It's starting to fade there but ultimately this is in Sugar Plum and it was about a through $2.99 I believe but it comes with a blush bronze and a highlight. The highlight I go ahead and use as a my brow bone because I don't not I used to do it with the set more satiny colors, but I like this better because it gives it a matte look so it's not too much. The contour, I used to use it on here, but I found it too harsh. So I go ahead and use it on my nose right here to contour my nose. And then I just go ahead and blend it away. The blush I use very sparingly because this stuff is so opaque. I really go in on the blush. When I first got it, I went like this. And I was, it's literally, literally, it was this pan on my face. It was ridiculous. So I use that very sparingly. The next thing that I have is my go-to CoverGirl Clean Matte Powder, Pressed Powder. And this is in Soft Honey... 555. I have Hit Pan. This is my brand new one. did buy one that was a little deeper in color because I thought that it would match my skin since I got really, really tan in Brazil. But this still is works for me. I don't really tan my face because I don't want the sun to do too much damage. <laughs> Next thing that I have is City Color Highlight Trio. I believe I got this from my Ipsy. There is the packaging there. Again, you guys, I use this every day, so that's why it just looks heck ratchet. There is that, and it has three different types of highlighters. It has the rose type of highlighter that I used to love, but I've been going off of that a little bit lately because I want to save it. It has the more highlight highlight, which is almost a muted highlight color that I like to use on my nose and my cupid's bow. This is more of the golden highlight that I like to use right here just to blend in with my bronzer. Or if I like to be really fun, I just go like this with my brush and just put it everywhere, you know. All right, the next thing I have is LA Colors Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Seashells. And you guys saw that I did do a haul on this. I absolutely love this. I go ahead and put this on the bottom of my waterline so that it appears wider and then I go ahead and smudge it. I absolutely love the way it makes my eyes look and it's something very different that I've, tr I've started doing recently. So yeah. 
Next thing I have is a smoky eye pencil in the color black by Rodeal. It's starting to fade there. I don't know if you can see it. This is what I use when I tight line the tops of my eyes. I do black on top and white on the bottom. It's a really nice contrast and it makes my eyes look more smoldering and not as naked, which I really, really love. Next thing I have is the e.l.f. Tone Correcting Powder. I know a lot of people use the Air Spun to bake, but I actually use this. This is in the shade Cool. And as you guys know, I have Hit Pan. And it does have all of the colors that when you combine them, it makes it so that it sets right. I put it right under here. I'll probably do a uh, Get Ready With Me with using all these products so that you guys can see how I use them all. But yes, this is what I use to bake. And it's very, very affordable. I believe it's like $3. So you cannot go wrong with that. Next thing I have is my e.l.f. eyebrow powder or eyebrow little kit here in the color medium. And there is that. It comes with a gel as well as a powder. And every time I dip the powder or the gel into the powder, it starts that little middle thing there. I don't really have to talk about it. It's just for my eyebrows. This is my go-to for eyebrows because it is only $3. Again, Elf, very affordable. And the products actually are pretty, pretty good. I have two of these little sponges. These are from Swissers. Swish, Swishers. They're the ones that make the cotton balls and the cotton pads. These are two little mini beauty blenders that I bought. I believe they were like $3 for these too many ones. The first one I use for the red underneath my eyes and then the second one I use it to conceal. So red, conceal. Red color correct, conceal. Next thing I have is Fergie's Wet n Wild and this is a take on the day eyeshadow eyeshadow primer. It's starting to fade there, but I pretty much use it on my eyes because yes, you guys, with this, I do use this to go ahead and set the tops of my eyes so that it doesn't get too oily. So that's what I use this for to prevent it from creasing. The next two things I got along with my haul is LA Colors Cover Pro Concealer Upstick and I got it in the color Pure Orange and Fair. So this is the Pure Orange that I was talking about that I go ahead and put on my under eye to conceal, to color correct my under eye circles, which is what I use this to blend. And then I have this Fair because it, I use it as a concealer. I go ahead and put this there and then this goes with this. I packed my Maybelline Fit Me, what is it? It's an under eye concealer and it's in the color Fair and I use that right before I go ahead and set with the tone corrector. The last things that I have in here hold on, are mascaras. So these aren't my favorite ones, but these are the ones that I have when I was traveling. So then I just, I'm just trying to finish them up before I open up any new ones. This one is CoverGirl Plumpify Blast Pro. This I don't necessarily not like, but I mean, there are better ones out there, but thing with this is this brush it's really ginormous it's a plastic brush it's that and it does it does do the job like i'm wearing i'm wearing it right now next one that i have was my absolute favorite when i was traveling it just gave my eyelashes like a reason to live <laughs> a little oa but this is city color be bold three times volume and length mascara in the color black and I tried to look this up to see if I can buy it some more because I absolutely love this. This is almost like a dupe for the Kat Von D. What is her mascara? Kat Von D. Oh, I forgot it. But I absolutely, that's my favorite, by far my favorite mascara. So this is almost like a really, really affordable dupe. Again, I tried to look on their website and I couldn't find it. So that's really really sad because I think it was only like $3.99 or something. The last thing I have is for my bottom lashes. This is a Bobbi Brown Intensifying Longwear Mascara. I did get this a long time ago when it comes to sample boxes or whatever and yeah 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 I get it you're supposed to throw out your mascara or whatever but it works whatever it, it works. The reason I love this is because look at how small the brush is. It's perfect to coat your lower lashes. I haven't been doing lower lashes a lot lately. Actually, I haven't been doing them at all. So this has been really scarce as far as me using it. So yeah, that pretty much wraps it up for Camille's makeup in a jar. I will go ahead and do a get ready with me. If that's something you'd like to see, go ahead and comment down below and let me know if that is something you'd be interested in. All right, well, I hope you guys like this different video than all the hauls that I've been doing. If you guys did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos by me, go ahead and click that red subscribe button. It would totally make my day, and I will see you guys later. Bye!
And again, you guys, there is links down below to all my social media as well as my second channel, which is my vlog channel, which I go on random adventures or just random things that, you know, I do at home and whatever. If you guys want to go ahead and subscribe to that, that would be awesome. And again, I am very active on Twitter and on here. Facebook, Instagram, not so much, but they're also linked down below.